The survey shows that bullying in Ohio schools against gay and lesbian students is nearly universal. While over 90% of gay students say they have been harassed, Nine News reporter Scott Wegener tells us some districts seem to be doing little about it. The survey paints a sobering picture of anti-gay bullying in Ohio schools. The results can be tragic. Unfortunately, in the fall, for instance, there was a high number of teen suicides that occurred, and many of those uh, were perceived to be students who might be LGBT. 98% of lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender high school students report they've heard biased remarks from other students. 91% say they have been victimized or assaulted at school. The biggest striking thing, though, in the survey was that 64% said that when those incidents happened, they didn't report them to educators in the school. Officials from the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network that commissioned the survey believe that's because only 8% attended schools with a comprehensive LBGT bullying policy. The vast majority of students, they say, are afraid to step forward. In those schools, there's either a student or a, an educator they don't feel is a supportive educator in the school that they can go to, or if they do report it, nothing's going to happen. In June, the U.S. Department of Education sent a reminder to all public school districts in the country that students have a right to form gay straight alliances or GSAs to ease the isolation and bullying the survey documents. The idea is that in every school in the area, we hope to have at least one teacher who's identified as a safe space to talk to students who are either lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgendered, or are being bullied because of the perception that they might be. Scott Wegener, 9 News.